In the last video, we learned about the plate tectonic theory and how this theory is used to explain natural events like volcanoes and earthquakes at divergent boundaries. In this video, we will look at two other types of boundaries, convergent and transform. Okay, densities matter when you've got two types of plates. Remember which one I said was more dense? The oceanic plate. So when these two start to come together, they're going to push. It's hard to push a fruit roll up, so I'm just going to push over here. They're going to start to push uh, together like this. And the more dense plate, well, you can actually see it's, it's happening. The more dense plate is going to slip underneath. It's going to be subducted underneath. And this plate is going to start rotting on top. But it can't go flat. It's going to push up. And you've got a mountain chain that's now being so what happens when two plates converge that are the same densities? Well, let's use the graham crackers as an example of two continental plates meeting. I wet the edges of the crackers for a few seconds just to make them a little more pliable. Then I put them on the whipped cream and push them together. Do you see what's happening? The edges crumple upwards. We've built mountains, mountains in the middle of a continent. Two oceanic plates push land the opposite way when they converge. One oceanic plate is usually subducted under the other one, but a huge trench is formed. The Marianas Trench in the Pacific Ocean is an example of this. Volcanoes under sea are another result of two oceanic plates converging. So you've got two pieces of continental crust, same densities. They are moving in different directions, and for a while, everything's going to go smoothly. You might get a little bit of jarring, but once in a while it'll start, it'll build up pressure and build up pressure. And when that pressure builds up, smash, you've got an earthquake, or you've got some, some shocks, maybe not a huge earthquake, maybe just some tremors. But as the plates are slipping beside, look what's happening in the graham cracker. That's what's happening in the Earth's crust. It's starting to tear away, it's starting to peel away. Our world is constantly building and destroying itself because the tectonic plates are always in motion. We can't see the plates move, but we can see the resulting landscapes and sometimes feel the shocks of their motion. 